NATO believes Ukraine destroyed most Russian tanks with drones over last several months. Over the past few months, more than two-thirds of Russian tanks were destroyed by Ukrainian soldiers with the help of the FPV drone, which shows that Kyiv relies on this particular weapon more and more amidst the acute artillery ammunition deficit. Foreign Policy reported this with reference to an official representative of NATO. The story says the FPV drones used by the armed forces of Ukraine have low efficiency. They are equipped with cheap cameras which makes it harder to aim at night or in cloudy weather and often carry improvised explosive devices which sometimes explode right in the air or do not detonate at all. It is noted that in the third year of Russia's full-scale invasion, FPV drones have become nearly ubiquitous on the Ukrainian battlefield. Many of them can carry 10 pounds of explosives or more and after nearly 780 days of non-stop war, drone pilots on both sides have gotten plenty of practice. But for every success, there are nearly as many blooper, real-worthy incidents. These aren't the $20 million apiece Predator drones that the United States uses to hunt terrorist targets in the Middle East. These are inexpensive, off-the-shelf drones that go for $400. The analysts surveyed by Foreign Policy believes that the FPV drone attacks on the Russian tanks have controversial results. Rob Lee, senior fellow of the Eurasian program of the Institute of Foreign Policy Research, indicates that a general accuracy of FPV drones in less than 50% and in some cases as many as 10 or more drones are needed to destroy a tank. At the same time, Lee states, Russia is running out of armored vehicles and tanks, so while preserving current dynamics in the combat zone, Moscow may lose its quantitative superiority and make conducting its own offensive operations in the future more difficult. The issue is that Russia's getting a lot of manpower, Lee added. At the beginning of the year, the UK Defence Intelligence analysed the influence of FPV drones over the situation on the left bank of Kherson Oblast and explained why it is difficult for the Russian occupiers to counteract them. Ten regions of Kazakhstan have declared states of emergency after strong floods hit the entire northwest of the country. The flooding was sparked by a sudden and early period of warm weather that caused huge amounts of snow to melt and overfill numerous rivers across parts of Kazakhstan and Russia. Massive floods in Kazakhstan that began in March became the largest natural disaster in the country over the past 80 years, country's president Kassimjom Tokayev said. A natural disaster has occurred, the likes of which have not been seen for many years. This may be the largest disaster in terms of its scale and consequences over in the past 80 years, he said, according to Tokayev, due to the floods, a local emergency situation has been declared in 10 regions of the country. The president noted that following his criticism and instructions, the government boosted efforts to reduce the consequences of the flood and is taking appropriate measures. According to the latest data from the Ministry of Emergency Situations of Kazakhstan, since the beginning of the floods, more than 3,000 private residential buildings and courtyard areas have been flooded, and 70 settlements remain without transport links. At the same time, more than 72,000 people have been evacuated. The National Army has been deployed on rescue and aid missions across the regions. Over 8,600 people and 1,700 pieces of equipment, 411 water pumps and 65 watercraft, as well as 10 aircraft are involved in rescue operations. Yeah. 